metabolism and calories. What's the connection? I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and metabolism is one of those words that people toss around a lot but aren't necessarily sure what it really means. So let me take a couple minutes to try to explain this complicated concept. When we talk about metabolism, basically what we're talking about is the total number of the chemical reactions that take place in your body every day and the calories that are required in order for that to happen. So for example, for your heart to pump, for your lungs to exchange gases, for your brain to function, all those basic processes that your body needs to go through in order just to keep you alive, those require calories. So that amount of calories that you burn in 24 hours that represents all of these processes that your body is undergoing is your total metabolism, or sometimes you hear it called your metabolic rate. Now the metabolic rate term is a little confusing because it sounds like it's something you can speed up or slow down. And that's not really the case. You can't necessarily make your body burn calories more quickly or let's say if you were trying to keep yourself from losing too much weight to make your body burn calories more slowly. But the rate is really the term that we use that represents the total number of calories again in 24 hours that your body needs in order to keep these basic processes going. So why do people blame their weight problems on their metabolism? They'll say, my metabolism is too slow. Well, again, what really matters is how many calories you burn in total. So it really isn't about how fast or how slow you burn your calories. It really has to do with how many calories you burn in 24 hours, and that can vary from person to person. So let me explain that. Why do some people need more calories to do metabolic work than other people do? Well, first of all, body size has a lot to do with it. If you think about it, the larger a person is, the more cells they have. The more total cells you have, the more energy or calories it's going to take just to keep those cells functioning. So larger people generally have higher metabolic rates, burn more calories in 24 hours, than smaller people do. The other big factor as far as how many calories you burn in 24 hours has to do with your body composition. And that's because your muscle mass, your lean tissue, burns more calories per pound or per kilo than your fat tissue does. So body composition plays into metabolic rate. People who have the same body size, the same height, the same weight, but different body compositions will burn different amounts of calories in 24 hours. Someone with more lean body mass will burn more calories in 24 hours than someone who has less. The third thing that can affect your metabolic rate is your age. And this is primarily because as people get older, they tend to lose lean body mass and pick up body fat. So again, since your lean body mass is what's burning calories, if you slowly lose that over time, your metabolic rate is going to drop a little bit. Gender also plays into this too, for two reasons. Men generally have larger body sizes than women do, so we already talked about that. And the other thing is that men generally have more lean body mass as a proportion of their total weight than women do. So those two factors are gonna affect it. So when it comes down to it, what can you do to influence your metabolic rate? There's two important things. One is to do enough strength training and resistance training to build up your lean body mass because again, lean mass burns more calories at rest than fat mass does. And the other thing that you can do is make sure that you eat enough lean protein to help you maintain or build up your lean body mass. In other words, it's a combination of a healthy diet and plenty of exercise for a healthy, active life.